time and space doesn't exist when you connect on a soul level. There are people out there who are still in, in transit to, to coming into my field. <laughs> And that's what's beautiful. Like, I feel like with this YouTube channel, like, I feel like a lot of my soul family is coming in transit because I'm taking action and because I'm releasing my expectation that I'm going to be meeting certain people at certain times or connecting with certain people at certain times. Hi, loves. Welcome and welcome back. If you are coming back to this channel, I am Ro and I am going to be going over how I personally built a global soul family over the, oh, how long did it take? Over the past few years and really going over how I let myself be open to build a global soul family. Cause that's the first step, right? You want to have that intention to build a global soul family and then it happens. And I know it's easier said than done, but let me break down the steps of what I did. It's just three simple steps. And the very first one is to let go of any expectations of how you're gonna meet them, where you're gonna meet them, and when you are going to meet them. Because some of my family that I have like all over, maybe I met them when I was traveling, maybe I met them online, Maybe I met them in my old city in Las Vegas and now um, they're just in a different city because I moved. Really just allowing yourself to let go of how you're gonna meet them. That's like the first step. And when you put yourself out there and embody that energy of that soul family member that you are, then then they come in ways that you just really don't expect it because you're not expecting it. <laughs> so that's, that's the first thing. And then the second thing is use social media with the intention to connect. I know with this day and age, social media has been such a, such a topic <laughs> to really talk about in terms of connecting, in terms of feeling disconnected and I personally have had many, many, many friends on social media, and I've talked about this in a previous video before, but I've, even though I had so many friends on social media, I just still felt alone and I still felt like I wasn't valued, seen, heard, understood, or just feeling connected because I felt alone and lonely. So when I shifted my perspective, and intention to use social media to connect. And not only to just connect, but really connect deeply, authentically, really listening to people and what they need help with or what they just wanna share. And also practicing to not let your energy get leaked into somebody else's um, well, feed or energy. Cause let me tell you, I, <laughs> I unfollowed everyone on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, it says, well, maybe I, I kind of been feeling called to follow some people. Um, but for three years, I did not follow anyone on Instagram because I was seeking external validation. Like I thought that if I don't follow back people, then they won't like me. If I don't follow back people, then then they won't follow me back. It was just a lot of external validation that I wanted to get rid of. And so I also set the intention when I deleted, well, I guess not deleted, unfollowed everyone on Instagram that whoever I meant to connect with is who I meant to connect with on this platform. And if people want to connect with me, that I want to connect with them. So I have ever since I unfollowed people, I've actually been DMing the most amount of people ever since then and really building and fostering those connections through intimacy and through listening and asking questions and just really understanding where they are and when i allowed myself to really set that intention and take action on it because that's that's the second part of it you know you set the intention and then you take action um and that's when i really allowed myself to flourish and to connect with people all over the world and to attract that soul family that i know is out there and i trust that that's out there and when i also 
communicate with authenticity and, and genuine genuine care that's how i also allowed myself to meet people from all over you know letting go of where people are like i have beautiful soul family in places like england and chicago now i have a lot of them in vegas and um i have people in, or i have soul family in la and also maybe these people don't even recognize that they're my soul family but i i recognize that they're my soul family because they have taught me so many lessons of unconditional love and helped me grow as a person and really allowed me to just flourish in my own authenticity because they're doing so for themselves so when i had this intention to build my soul family um i also it's funny because i also didn't have an expectation to have it be globally um but after reflecting and recognizing the people who are in my life the people who i really connect with and resonate with i'm like they're all over the world and that's beautiful like i've met so many people through web3 and the nft space who are from all over like i know i have soul fam in the philippines and i know that <clears throat> there are people out there who are still in in transit to, to coming into my field <laughs> and that's what's beautiful like i feel like with this youtube channel like i feel like a lot of my soul family is coming in transit because i'm taking action and because i'm releasing my expectation that i'm going to be um meeting certain people at certain times or connecting with certain people at certain times because connecting on a soul level is like time and space doesn't exist when you connect on a soul level and so physical distance that doesn't matter to me because I know for a fact that I connect with them no matter where they are in the world. So I hope this helped and I am really excited to be able to talk more about soul family and my experiences. I know that that is a topic that um, our community is really interested in. So I appreciate you listening, watching and wanting to learn more about how to create a soul family, how to build a soul family from learning from my experiences. And if there's anything else you wanna learn more about from um, this channel and from me, and also the beautiful people of our community, let me know below in the comments. I'm also seeking 13 people in our community who are open to tip $5 a month so that I can invest in the Adobe Creative Suite so I can continue to edit videos and to share these messages with you. And I'm also, um, just really grateful for you. And I feel like I'm going to say that every single time that I create a video. This is like, I think my third video that I've created on this channel for 2023. And I know that gratitude is just of the highest vibration. And it's really something that I have been practicing more of lately when it comes to being in all, my own authenticity and attracting the people who I have been attracting into my field as of late. So I am grateful for you and your time and energy and your attention to listen to how to build and create the global soul family, which you're a part of. So if you enjoyed this, uh, definitely make sure to like and subscribe if you want to be up to date with my future affiliate videos and to also comment below and maybe you'll meet somebody from your soul family through the comments below if you'd like to speak your truth and share your truth as well i am also looking forward to see more people connect through the youtube platform and just to just connect through these videos because that's my intention and i want to be able to have a platform through exploration that we can build together so that we can all connect and create together. So I appreciate you until next time, until next video. Bye loves. If you are watching this, you are part of my soul fam. Well, I should say that if you're watching this and you're resonating with me, then you are part of my soul fam. However, I have experienced that just because you don't resonate with someone right away, they could be your soul fam too.